Okay, this is video showing how to connect CPU usage from Mikrotik routers and also the same way we can use different SNMP OIDs. So this is my Mikrotik router which I'm going to use. First of all I'm putting the title and IP address of this uh, Mikrotik router to the system. Okay, just let me change, let me write the title as a test Mikrotik and uh, IP address is that I copied. SNMP version will be 2. So this is just a basic setup of adding a new device to monitoring in Splinks. When I got it, I'm clicking Add and uh, this device, I just need to check the partners and this device was added. Uh, the next step, let's get SNMP walk. Let's try if we have access to the device through SNMP. If we do not have access, we must check if SNMP S is enabled and access from Splinks is allowed on the Mikrotik router. Let's log in there, connect to router and check on IP SNMP. So it's enabled and community is public, but uh, IP address is not allowed. So I need to allow an IP address of my Splinks. So this is mine, IP address, putting it to addresses and save, apply. It means that now I can access my Mikrotik router with SNMP. So run SNMP walk again and SNMP walk will show us all available interfaces and values which we can use. So here we have a list of three interfaces which are active on that Mikrotik router. Let's add some of them, for example Ethernet 1, just to get the statistics from uh, internet usage. And But for us interesting is CPU. As you can see, SNMP walk didn't show us the CPU SNMP OID. How to get it? So we can run SNMP command to get SNMP, void, SNMP OID on our Mikrotik. So let's check print OID and uh, this is the memory and uptime, CPU, system resources, CPU. If I get print OID, it will show me OID for a SNMP value for a CPU usage. I'm copying it and go back to my system and find it on, uh, on SNMP walk results. Here I have the same value, so it means I can add it. I'm adding it, putting title as a CPU usage and data, data source type is absolute because it's showing us percentage. Okay, I'm, sa I'm saving it, but at the moment I don't have any values. Splinks will gather information in one minute interval. So let's add the chart uh, for visualizing CPU usage. Okay, my chart, the name is test Mikrotik CPU usage or test Mikrotik vertical title CPU usage and I'm using my test Mikrotik router and putting CPU usage there. So this is the basic setup. What I need to make is a, a bit customization of chart. So I'm choosing color, choosing the area and value is percentage but factor is not one but it's 60 because it, it's every minute. Okay, let me at the second line, the same line, uh, this is the seconds, 60 seconds, let me add the second value, and add, and just to make this chart better, look better, okay. So I will show you existing chart of CPU usage, it looks like that, so here we get the CPU usage run percentage, and we can show it in a daily, weekly and hourly.